Today we're at the Irvine Spectrum, one of South Orange County's most popular shopping areas. Outdoor malls to be precise. And what we're going to look at is the uh, living situation in the area, some of the shopping opportunities that you have here, and some of the negatives also about the Irvine Spectrum. Uh, so we're going to look at the good, the bad, and the ugly of the area um, so you can decide for yourself whether this is a good place to make your next home here in Orange County. So if that's what you're looking for, you're going to want to come on our tour with us. If you're considering a move to South Orange County now or the near future, then you should call, text, or email me so I can help make your move to South Orange County a fun and rewarding experience. And finally, before we get started, I want to let you know that uh, if you're trying to learn everything there is to know about living in Orange County, you're going to want to uh, subscribe to our channel so um, you could learn that information easily and simply just by watching a few videos on YouTube. So subscribe to my channel and then if you want the latest updates, tap the bell icon below. Unfortunately, there are ugly parts. Trust me, there are. Um, of the Irvine Spectrum. You could hear some of them right now. It's proximity to the, uh, to the freeway. The Spectrum is located where the 405 and the 5 meet. The, uh, the Y that that forms is where the Irvine Spectrum is. And um, if you're considering moving to this area, this is gonna be a great video for you to watch because you're gonna learn all about the area and Maybe you might want to cross this area off your list, or maybe you might want to include it, but you'll be able to determine that based on, partly based on, maybe not entirely, uh, what you see today. All right, let's get on with our tour. So we're uh, in the Irvine Spectrum parking lot, right in front of it. And uh, behind me, we've got a uh, big Irvine Spectrum sign. Over there in the distance, there's an obelisk. I don't know if you can see it, but they light it up at night. And you can see it from the Five Freeway. But uh, this is a great place. Uh, one of the things that makes Irvine so great is all the work opportunities. You can see the high-rise building right there behind me, right over there. Um, that's where uh, lots of offices like Blackberry are located. Uh, I myself have worked at companies that have offices here, but let's get right into our, into our tour. And we're going by uh, Bristol Farms over here. And then we've got uh, Wahoo's Fish Tacos. We've got an H H and M. Got a Pyology pizzas. They got movies here. Uh, it's very popular for for people. Very very popular destination for people to come to on a Saturday or a Friday, especially at night. So we're going by H&M right now. I don't know if you can see it. There's a free people. There's a Target here. Oh, there's a Black Dot Coffee. Ooh, that place is good. There's an Apple store. Nice fountains. Great place to walk your dogs. There's an H&M here. stuff here at Irvine Spectrum. Great for shopping. Next hall. Lululemon. Sephora. Facial works. So we're one of the like uh, kind of like Pilates or something set up here, right next to the Ferris wheel. Oh, and the anchor store, Nordstrom, is here. Very popular. White House Black Market. Right. Lucky jeans, you know about those. Brighton's here. Spec 
spectrum apartments. So, God forbid you go to an apartamento. Don't do that. That's a mistake. You definitely want to own. You don't want to rent. Rent do nothing but go up. If you own, you get a 30 year fixed rate loan. Even at 5%, it's 3 or 4% lower than the inflation rate. So you're making money every month. So don't rent. Stay tuned to my channel. I'll tell you when you should rent. And that's when rates get up to 10%. I don't think that's ever going to happen because the entire economy will collapse. But uh, anyway, I digress. We're on our tour of the spectrum. Got the veggie grill over here. Now we're on the front side of Bristol Farms. We started this tour out on the back side of Bristol Farms. Got Dave and Buster's here. So we've gone by a lot of shops. A lot of shops. So you can see there's a lot here. There's never a shortage of uh, places to shop when you're anywhere near Irvine Spectrum. Uh, there's Chipotle. Good morning. Oh, there's Barnes & Noble. The Starbucks inside. I've spent many an afternoon in the Barnes & Noble drinking Starbucks. That's a good portion of the uh, Irvine spectrum. Uh, but I'm sure you didn't come here just for shopping. Uh, we're going to go look at some uh, places for sale. And uh, So one of the worst things about the spectrum, I know it doesn't look like it now, but it's the parking. The parking situation here is terrible at night. Now we're here in the morning, the parking's not bad. But uh, at night, I've come here lots of times where I couldn't find anywhere to park. Just drive around aimlessly looking for a spot. So uh, that's a negative. Of course, we mentioned the uh, proximity to the freeway. That's a pretty Pretty big negative because that noise you hear in the background never goes away. Let's go around Target and then off to some of the places where you can actually buy a play, you know, buy a home, which is what you should do. You should definitely not rent. And even if you stay there for, I mean, there are closing costs with any any purchase. Uh, so you're not going to recoup those right away. But if you stay there, I'd say at least three years, it's going to be a break-even situation as opposed to renting. And then, uh, this, this is in general, of course, but uh, oh, there's CVS Pharmacy here. It's always good to know. A lot. They really improved the parking. This, there's a huge parking structure here now. Actually, several of them. Um, so it's gotten better, but it's still, all different. Now we're on the side where the 405 freeway is. So we started where the uh, 5 freeway is. They call it the El Toro Y because it forms a Y and right on the top of the Y where the two um, arms come together that's where the Irvine Spectrum is. It's kind of the head of the uh, El Toro Y. So we're in a community named Laguna Altura, and this is right on the other side of the 405 freeway from where we were at the Irvine Spectrum. And what I am doing here is giving you a perspective of the area. So we're up on a uh, hill, and in the distance, you can see the Blackberry building that we saw from the Spectrum, and then you can see the Irvine Spectrum here, from here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at homes in Laguna Altura that have sold in the last six months. And that's the best way for you to know what the next sale is gonna be because real estate is based on comparable sales, pricing is. So the next sale that happens is usually in this market, close to 10% on top of the most recent sale. So the one we're gonna go look at 
sold in the area of 1.8 million. So the next sale will be close to 1.2 or close to 2 million. Um, the market's still appreciating, even though interest rates are over 5% in a lot of cases, unless you have fantastic credit and uh, you don't mind buying your rate down. But uh, yeah, the market's still good, even in an increasing interest rate environment. It is slowing a little bit. So for example, you know, working with a lot of different buyers, the last offer I put in for some buyers, we only had to compete against eight offers. Uh, four months ago, five months ago, we were competing against 30 offers. So a lot of people ask me, is the market gonna go down? And I can tell you that the market is not gonna go down because anytime you have more than two buyers competing for one property, they're gonna try to outdo each other and bid the price up. And every time that happens, the comparables go up and the next sale is gonna be a little bit more. So, uh, but let me just show you how nice, this is a really high end, very nice community. Um, does have a little bit of road noise. I don't know if you could hear it. I always gauge uh, neighborhoods and communities by the sound of the birds. And when you get behind this hill that's behind me, it blocks out the freeway noise and then all you can hear are the birds. Love that. So anyway, um, let's go to our first stop, which is 58 Suppressio in the community of Laguna Altura. Show you what that looks like. And then we'll take, we'll, t we'll make one or two more stops so you can get an idea of what this community in South Orange County has to offer. And if you might want to make this area your next home. We're going to end our tour a little bit early just because it's gone a little bit, little bit long and we think we should focus more on Laguna Altura. So we're going to have a uh, separate tour just for Laguna Altura, which we're zooming in on now. That's where we're looking at the Irvine Spectrum. Let's, let's look back at the Irvine Spectrum. So we'll start the tour off from this location. Uh, we'll have a link to it in the comments. Please uh, share your thoughts down in the comments below. Let us know how we can improve our tours and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Um, please do watch our tour on Laguna Altura. Thank you very much and we'll see you on the next one.